Hey everybody, David here, and today we are going to take a look at the many live-action portrayals of Superman's most popular foe, Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor was created by Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster and made his first comic book appearance in Action Comics number 23, released in April 1940. The character was first portrayed in live-action by Lyle Talbot in the 1950 serial. Adam Man vs. Superman, where he starred alongside the very first actor to portray Superman in live action, Kirk Allen. It wouldn't be until 1978's Superman movie where Lex Luthor would be seen again in live action, this time portrayed by Academy Award winner Gene Hackman, opposite Christopher Reeve as Superman. Gene Hackman also portrayed the character in its sequels, 1981's Superman 2 in 1987's Superman 4 The Quest for Peace. After the end of the Christopher Reeve Superman films, Superboy made the leap onto TV. Just like the title character, Lex Luthor was played by two different actors on the show. Season 1 featured Scott James Wells, while the remaining three seasons featured Sherman Howard. In 1993, John Shee was cast as Lex Luthor as a recurring regular during Season 1 of Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman, opposite Dean Cain and Terry Hatcher, while also returning for a few more episodes after Season 1. In 2001, Warner Brothers Television created Smallville, which would be about a young Clark Kent portrayed by Tom Welling before he becomes Superman. The series would also feature Michael Rosenbaum as Lex Luthor, but instead of starting off as enemies, the show would explore the relationship with them starting off as friends. Michael Rosenbaum left after seventh season, when his character finally embraced the dark side, but would eventually return for its series finale in the tenth season. After directing the first two X-Men films, Brian Singer went over to WB to direct 2006's Superman Returns which was a soft sequel to the original two Superman films starring Christopher Reeve and Gene Hackman. Brendan Routh was cast as Superman, while Kevin Spacey was cast as Lex Luthor, who had previously worked with Singer in The Usual Suspects. When Warner Brothers Pictures wanted to reboot Superman for its cinematic universe, which began with Zack Snyder's Man of Steel, Lex Luthor got some subtle references in the film. It wasn't until Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice where Jesse Eisenberg was cast opposite Henry Cavill's Superman. Eisenberg also made a cameo in the end credits for Justice League where it was hinted that he might be putting a villain team together. It's unknown if that will happen anytime soon since Justice League didn't do so well in the worldwide box office. Although we probably won't be seeing the character on the big screen anytime soon, Lex Luthor is currently in the CW series, Supergirl, in its fourth season, portrayed by John Cryer. Lex Luthor has been name-dropped on the series in previous seasons. John Cryer has been part of the Superman family before by playing Lex's nephew, Lenny Luthor, alongside Gene Hackman in Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. Well, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please remember to like and subscribe, and until next time, take care.